Hey everybody, Pookie TVX. My, my um, phone keep uh, cutting out when I'm doing these recordings. I don't know what's going on. But to what I was talking about with the Michael Jackson situation, that's really sitting heavy, man. Y'all peeped this out, man, what I found out. Guess who was friends, still friends, with Harvey Weinstein and been friends with him for 20 plus years. Guess. Oprah Winfrey. Oprah Winfrey. And guess what? This week that they airing out, um, Leaving Neverland. Guess who's trial going on this week? Harvey Weinstein. Are they trying to block our minds away from it and put us on on a certain path and take us off of his path, the real path of the pedophiles? Huh? Who molested the Feldman? Who, who molested Corey Feldman and Corey Hames? Yeah. Weinstein. Not Michael Jackson. But who do they do? Who do they put it on? The guy that they think is strange. The guy that they think is attracted to kids. Michael Jackson never had anybody on the um, casting couch. And Oprah Winfrey was supposed to be Michael Jackson's friend. If he was a molester, and she knew he was a molester, why would she want to be with a molester? Why would she want to be friends of a molester? Oh, because she's friends with Weinstein. Have y'all ever heard Oprah speak out about Weinstein? I'll wait. No, because she won't. Because she won't. Because her blood oath runs thick with them. Them the type that had the people on the casting couch, the kids. They did. But they would tell you it's Michael Jackson. To throw you off of the scent. See that Holly weird shit is real. But they'll make you think it's Michael Jackson. They chopped that first piece up so good and made it look so damn believable. But what is Hollywood known for? Giving you the best movies, editing and cutting, putting shit there that ain't supposed to be there. That's what they do. Oprah Winfrey interviewed Michael in 93. Michael trusted Oprah. But hey, guess who sent Oprah? Bingo. They knew what they was doing from the jump. It was all planned out. And yes, y'all girl Oprah was a big part in it. She knew about all them dark secrets, the casting couch secrets, the Tyler Perry secrets. Monique ain't crazy. Monique not hard to work with. Monique a realist. See, whenever you speak out what they do, blackball you. That's what they do. They blackball you. And they get coons like Oprah Winfrey, like Tyler Perry, like Lee Daniels, like Steve Harvey to come to you as a friend. But behind your back, stab that fucking knife in and keep digging. That's the type of niggas they is. 
This shit run deep. So many fucking smoke and mirrors is crazy. This shit sad, y'all. They'd rather run a dead man's name to fucking nothing. When he ain't the one that's really doing it. He never done it. But Weinstein, Spacey, yeah, the real ones. They get all these kids and all this shit to try and say, when they had Michael Jackson in that case, they never, he never, it was no evidence. Nothing leading to Michael Jack. Nothing. Nothing. But people trying to get money. Trying to settle out for money. They've been attacking this man for years. For years, y'all. He spoke out about Tony Mattello. He spoke out about it. Once you become that on that list of radicals, once you become on that list of, of uh, out of line nigga, shit like this happens. You get blackballed. You get your name tore down into the dirt. Anything to discredit you. So when you speak the truth, people think you're talking fucking gibberish. And so many people go for it. If y'all think Monique is crazy, and Martin Lawrence is crazy, and Cat Williams is crazy, and DMX is crazy, and Dave Chappelle is crazy, they not. They not crazy. Listen to them. Listen what they saying. Whenever they say a person is crazy, it means that person know what the fuck they talking about. The environment is fucked up. Man, this R. Kelly shit, man. They about to pin him to the fucking wall, man. They couldn't get him back in 2005. So now they're going to do what they got to do to get him now. And they're going to use any means necessary. Because that's how they play. J. Edgar Hoover did it with the fucking Panthers. With Martin Luther King. Malcolm X. You name it. It's been going on. That's what they do. It's been going. I'm tired of talking, man. Tired of talking because ain't nobody fucking listening. Ain't nobody fucking listening. Ain't nobody fucking listening, man. Smoke and mirrors, man. I just pray y'all pay attention and don't judge because you really don't know. Don't judge. Open that third eye. Pay attention. Watch the patterns. Follow it. I'm out.